When the First World War started, one of the things that really shook Europe was the fact that the Germans marched into Belgium, which had nothing to do with the conflict as such. And with great brutality took over Belgium. And there were very many refugees, just like we have it in our days, that were driven out of Belgium to other places. And as I say, the European conscience was very much disturbed by what had happened. And Hall Kane had already been involved with the royal family about charity books. And now he proposed to make a charity book himself for the Belgian refugees. And he talked to the Daily Telegraph and the owner. And because he at this time, 1914, was a world name, he was great. I mean, he really was a famous person. He personally wrote 250 letters, handwritten letters, hard to believe in emails and computers, to famous people all over Europe, and mainly, of course, to Great Britain's greats. Could they please give a contribution to a book that would be sold in aid of the Belgian refugees. And most of them replied in a positive way and did give him a contribution. And you have got famous musicians, you have got famous artists, you have got famous writers in what became Prince uh, King Albert's book, King Albert being the king of Belgium. And this book was then launched on the public in a way that I have not seen anything like that. The Daily Telegraph ran on a daily basis a list of people companies, clubs, societies that had taken this book and how many copies they had taken. Oh yes, I should mention one particularly philanthropic person bought enough copies to give every injured English soldier in hospital one copy of that for, as a Christmas present. Well, anyway, the end result was that the book brought in £20,000 for the Belgian refugees, which in that year, I have been told, would be about the same as £600,000, which was a handsome sum and did make a difference for the support that they needed. And he also was acknowledged by King Albert, who made him an order of King Leopold. And the Belgian people after the war, through the Belgian Parliament, decided to give him a portrait of himself by one of the most famous Belgian portrait artists of the time, a man called Jean Yeo. And uh, unfortunately, the original has disappeared, but we have here in Griba, in the hall, a copy made by a photographer that worked in Douglas, a lady called Newby.